My name is Sarah Wangari. I live at Madhari. My age is 48 age. I born at Madhari. In October 2017, police allegedly shot and killed Wangari's 19-year-old son, Alex, in this poor section of Nairobi. She says he had gone out to fetch water, but when he didn't come back, she went out to find him. Wangari says she found her son on the ground, dead, with two police officers next to his body, making phone calls. The shooting happened close to her home, and she still passes the spot every day. When I see here, I feel bad. When I'm going to work, to buy nini, food to eat, I see here, I'm feeling very bad. I'm feeling very bad. Wangari says she went to the police, but that they refused to open a case, alleging that her son was a gangster. Wangari is one of 16 alleged victims of police brutality featured in this exhibit, organized by the Madhara Social Justice Center. Their stories are also detailed in a book. This exposition builds on the documentation we've already done as Madhara Social Justice Center to allow the family members who've been bereaved through state-sanctioned killings to tell their side of the story in ways that charge against the narrative that their children were suspects or thieves. The center documented 99 police killings in Madhara and neighboring slums in the period from 2018 to 2021, and 803 killings across Kenya from 2013 to 2016. The exposition in an upmarket gallery is meant to provoke changes. And so we need to assemble, we need to get as much cross-class solidarity as possible to enact more pressure on the state. The institutions like the Independent Police Oversight Authority who also need pressure. Police in Kenya rarely comment on allegations of police killings and brutality. VOA reached out to police officials several times with this story, but they did not make anyone available for an interview. The book that accompanies the exhibit is meant to replicate the message of the exposition, and Wangari says she wants the world to know what happens in Kenya. I want those books to go everywhere, at America, at Japan, everywhere. That Except this thing, yes, that this, this name for killing to stop. The exposition is scheduled to run for seven days. For Wangari, the photos that were taken are a permanent record of what happened, symbolizing hope that she's not alone and that help is on the way. Ruth Almendorf for VON News, Nairobi.